Everything is, of course, interconnected with these uh, oak wind trunks. In fact, everything that we made for the bellows room and for the organ mechanism is all quarter sawn white oak. Um, I think the exception to that <clears throat> is the pumper levers and, and the case that goes around the, uh, the bellows was made in the tradition of what it would have been in a Schnicker organ, and that was something that Chris Lowe built. Um, but the mechanism, of course, the heart of it is the four bellows. These are four massive uh, pieces of oak that are glued together. They have to be carefully selected, as with anything that was done here, for uh, wood grain uh, patterns so that uh, we minimize expansion and contraction. Uh, there's allowances because wood is going to do that in the way this is built. Um, a lot of what holds these bellows together is done with nails and all the, the hardware for the pumper, the nails, anything metal you see for uh, uh, covers for accessing the valves that are internal are all hand forged by a blacksmith in Sweden. That was all provided through GoArt. Uh, so I think that answers, uh, interestingly, this, uh, Chris will help testify to this, that probably the hardest part of this whole project was the eight to 10 guys it took to carry these 500 pound bellows units up into this blower room through a little staircase and a little doorway. Um, but I suspect that's not uncommon. In fact, I know it's not uncommon in organ building. That's the nature. Uh, organs are heavy and big and uh, so